is against me filming right now. Like, I literally have people coming over. My camera's about to die. I need to go out tonight. I'm so scared. This is literally flashing red. Like, my camera is full on going to die, and I don't want it to. <sighs> but here I am still filming for you guys. So, hi, hello, what's up? Thanks for tuning in. So, today I'm going to be doing a story time. Guys, I'm just going to cut right to the chase. I'm going to make this quick and sweet. Even though this is kind of a sketchy story, not gonna lie. Like, I haven't told this story in a really long time and I'm kind of scared to tell it. Mm, I don't want to get in trouble, but here we are. I'm filming this for you, so. You're welcome, girl. Basically, I'm just gonna get right into it. <laughs> there used to be this abandoned house and it was called Satan's House. This house was filled with just satanic slurs, every wall covered with these stars and 666 and he's watching and don't go in the basement and like all of this super, super, super sketchy stuff covered in the house. But like that was like the place to be, you know, like back in elementary school, like it was lit. Like, yo, this house was sick. Like <laughs> everyone went to this, like it's the oldest street in my city. It's so old. There's all these abandoned houses. We'd all hang out at this one house cause it was so scary. And we thought we were so cool. Like going to this abandoned house. <sighs> and then one day, one day I go there with my one friend and these three boys. We're really young. We're like 12 maybe and uh, 13, I don't know. The boys are a year younger and so we're like in elementary school, the eighth grade, whatever age that is. And we're chilling at this house and the guys have a lighter and they decide to light the mattress that's by the side of the house on fire. Tee hee, lol. And the whole mattress caught on fire, the fire caught to the house and the whole house burnt down. The whole house burned down. And as we're walking away from the house, there's just these massive black smoke clouds, massive, they're freaking huge, coming from this house. And we're just like casually walking away from it. It's like midday, there's like this couple with their stroller like walking past us, like looking at us, we're like, hi. And like literally just like, get the f out of there, bitch. Like we literally <laughs> split up. We all went home. We never talked about it again. That whole house burnt down and they never, ever, ever, ever caught who did it. They never catch me. Ain't nobody gonna catch me. Cause you're too streetwise? Yup. And everyone's like, you're so stupid. Why are you telling this story? Because... I just want to. It was really sketchy and we never talked about it. I have all these different pictures from the house from when we used to hang out there. See guys, I do have friends. But I will show you guys all these pictures that I have. Literally taken that these say munched on them. Like that's how old this story is. Like, do you guys remember munched? Munched? Are you kidding me? Is that even still in the app store? Like, let's actually check. No results. <gasps> mm, I'm scared. That's why you don't let your elementary school kids play with fire. Hey, hey! Ew, how I look? <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> so guys, that was my story time. I hope you really liked it. I'm sorry this video was so short, but let me tell ya, I was really scared to tell this story, and now I did, so. And I, oh! Sketchy, sketchy, sketchy. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. Subscribe to me because all you hoes just be watching my videos and don't subscribe. Like, okay. Don't do that. Bye, guys.